Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty exciting video because I'm opening a new American Girl doll. Um, I bought her off eBay the other day and she wasn't supposed to come today. When I checked this morning it said that she was still in like Winnipeg or something but she made it here and I'm going to open her for you all today and also do like a little doll restoration for her. She was one of my dream dolls for like a really long time and so I'm very excited to open her. Um, first off, one of the things that she came with though is this little box that's labeled AG clothes. So we're gonna see what's inside. Okay, so it's not actually AG clothes, but you know what? They sent some little accessories with her. So we got like little like white mesh type. Um, it also looks like she came with some like little fancy looking underwear. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Um, we have one sandal from this doll. So there's that. And then she also came with some sandals. I think these are American Girl. They're not labeled American Girl. Oh yeah, they're just these little white sandals. I don't know who they belong to. They kind of look like something from one of Kit's outfits, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, they did come with two of those, so that's cool. So that was all the little accessories that she comes with. So now let's take her out of the box. Oh, she comes with, oh, this is cute. Okay, she also comes with this like little very fluffy pink dress. My doll Riley would love this. She's very much into pink and whatnot, so might try to style this on a doll, that's fun. Oh, her limbs, her limbs are very loose, so we got a lot of work to do. Her hair actually doesn't feel that bad. She came with also this little necklace that she had hiding her hair. But here she is, I got Kanani, so she came with her necklace and she also came with her meat dress and these little like converse shoes which would be great for my boy doll Parker so I'm really happy about that but yeah here she is she's so so pretty oh my goodness this is her hair her hair doesn't look to be that bad it looks like it was straightened though it has a bit of wave so I might try to attempt like a boil wash with her I'm not quite sure but yeah here she is she's so pretty oh my goodness she does have like a few marks and whatnot on her but other than that she has like a shine mark on her chin too, but like she's in pretty good condition stain wise. Oh, as I say that, I found a giant green stain on her dress, but I don't think I'll use her dress that often. Anyways, she's in pretty good shape, like cleaning wise. I will obviously use a magic eraser on her, but yeah, I'm very excited to get into the restoration process with this doll. So without further ado, let's roll the little restoration montage. Montage. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Not a day older Cause it's not a day older To the groove and the light the flickers We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker Okay, so I'm in my bathroom now I am going to obviously need to like try to curl her hair I'm going to try and do like a cheating boil wash sort of thing So I did this when I got um, Trinity 21 My doll Hazel if you're on my Instagram um, And what I did is that I rolled her hair up in curlers and then I filled the sink with like really, really hot water so that it's steaming and I just kind of like dumped her hair in and then I turned the tap on really cold and just like did it that way sort of thing. So obviously it, it isn't going to work for most dolls depending on what their hair is like. So Kanani's does still have a bit of a wave to it. I'm going to try to brush it out and see if maybe there's still a bit of curl and if there is, hopefully this way it'll kind of work. Like I said, I'm going to start by brushing out her hair and then I'm going to wash it and put it in curlers and then kind of try my like cheater hot boy wash method and we'll see how it goes. Feel the air get thinner. I'm standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. So let us dance this side away. Ok 
Okay, so it's a few hours later now. You could tell in the last footage, I was kind of more concerned about her eyes getting wet instead of actually like protecting her body. So she ended up getting a lot of water on her by accident. But I just had her laying outside in the sun. I posted a little thing on my Instagram story saying that she was like getting a little suntan. So her hair is all dry now from laying in the sun. So I'm gonna take out one of the curls and we're gonna see how it went and see if it works. I'm very nervous. Okay, okay. Maybe. I don't know which way your hair is supposed to curl. Like that, maybe. I don't know. The ends of her hair is pretty dry. Okay, you can't actually see. I didn't just realize that, sorry. That's how her curls turn out. I'm quite surprised given the condition of her hair. So I was really scared to do a hot water dunk on her, like an actual one, just because the condition that her hair is in. And also I've seen such like different results from other people who have used curlers and how it like can be pretty tough on their hair. Well, that one turned out a whole lot better. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go take all the curls out and I'll be right back. One week later. Um, obviously the curls did not hold at all. They fell out like 30 minutes later. So I was kind of bummed. I ended up buying her a new wig online, but I then decided, you know what? Let's just try the hot water dunk. I have a new wig coming in the mail if it goes wrong. I somehow managed to make it look pretty okay in my opinion. Um, it's gonna look bad on camera, but. Anyways, those are how the curls turned out. I thought they looked really, really well. Um, everyone on my Instagram was asking me questions as to how I did it so if you would like a tutorial comment down below I plan on doing this with all my dolls with wavy hair now even if their hair is like fine just because the curls hold so well I also did it on my sage doll and got really nice results so just a quick rundown of what I did I ended up using these like medium sized small curlers I guess you could say and just putting her hair in them only leaving like an inch of hair at the top of her head and then go straight to her head because I knew that it was gonna leave like the really tight curls and then I went back and forth and ducking her hair in hot water and cold water. I left her hair in the water for 30 seconds and then I switched over to the cold water and did that about four times. Also for the hot water, I didn't wait till the water was absolutely boiling. I put it in a kettle and maybe waited like two or three minutes or just until I thought the water would be hot enough to curl her hair and that ended up working really well. That's how Kanani turned out. Again, if you like a tutorial on how I did a hot water dunk, let me know down below. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you know when I post my next video. Also, if you want, you can leave a comment down below of some videos you would like to see from me this summer. I plan on working on a new episode of my Let's Watch series and doing some collector type videos. But if you have any suggestions, whether it be like kind of lifestyle videos, I guess you can say, or even just a stop motion idea, um, I'd love to hear it. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!